Today, we're going to be building a small, inexpensive raised bed perfect for growing vegetables like peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, and more. You'll need two 8-foot boards and a 1x1 one one stake, along with a saw, drill, some 2-inch deck screws, a pencil, and a measuring tape. Make a mark 12 inches from the edge of the board and cut. Do this for both and watch your fingers. Speaking of fingers, now's a great time to hit that thumbs up button. Mark the 1x1 one one at 12 inch intervals and cut 4 pieces. Make two 45 degree angle cuts at the end of each of these. You'll see why soon. Now you're ready to assemble. Screw a stake to the end of a 7 foot piece of board, flat side against the edge. Now add a 1 foot piece, creating a corner of the raised bed. Continue this process with the remaining stakes and boards. Not only do the posts in each corner provide an attachment point for the planks, but they also serve to anchor the garden box to the ground. I screwed up here and was inconsistent with the direction of the sharp ends, but it really doesn't matter. Set your newly built raised bed in position in the garden and start hammering it into the ground a bit. Then remove it. Pound a dummy stake into the soil at each of the four indents to make pilot holes and plop that raised bed into its final resting place. Tap it a bit as necessary to get it nice and level. Now it's time to fill it up. I suggest mixing sphagnum peat moss with your native garden soil underneath. If you can find a cheap or free source of compost, add that too. This garden tiller claw is great for mixing soil ingredients and breaking up clay soil. I'm not sponsored, but if you buy a similar one through the link in the description, I earn a small commission and it would really help me grow my channel. I'm going to be planting sweet peppers in this raised bed. This plant was purchased at a local garden center and it's a little root bound, but it'll be fine. Plop the plant in, firm up the soil, and give it a good drink. This is a sweet red bell pepper and you can see the buds are just starting to pop. This is the ideal stage to be planting a pepper out at. Biodegradable pots are really cool too. You don't have to peel them off because they decompose, and that's the point. But this year, I'm going to do an experiment. I'll peel this one off and leave the pot of another pepper intact to see if it affects growth. No matter what, always strip off the top because it will wick water away from the roots and evaporate this moisture if it's exposed to the air. I'm planting these sweet peppers 18 inches apart and they're going to fill in nicely as they grow throughout the season. This simple DIY raised bed should last for many seasons to come and provides the benefit of soil warming faster in the spring and awesome curb appeal. Don't forget to subscribe for more gardening tips, how-tos, and harvests. Cheers!